yeah, said sex mark free is real, it's in my hand, and it is out of my expectation. The set sex mark two back then I tested in Hong Kong. To be honest, back then it feels a little bit like yeah, it's the same as everybody else. But then this is so much different. I think that one may feel a little bit kind of entry level, but this I think it feels like probably the 500. But let gone gone all out this time. It got set A, set nine uh, subject recognition, the same weather ceiling. It got 3D tracking because before that set six, set seven doesn't have, didn't have 3D tracking. Up to 120 FPS burst. JPEG of course, but then 120 FPS. And then video, 6K ProRes RAW and RAW internal recording into a CF Express card. It just this time the con gone all out, it got everything. So to start off with, this has 12 FPS mechanical shutter. It doesn't sound much, but it escalates quick. You can also do 20 FPS with electronic shutter, raw, or 24 megapixel, 60 FPS electronic shutter, or 120 FPS 10 megapixel JPEG. Let me just go straight to 120 FPS. But with electronic shutter, you would usually worry about rolling shutter, the jelly effect. Before that, Nikon chose to use stack sensor on the set 8 and set 9. They claim that the without speed is so fast, in most situations you won't see any rolling shutter effect. This time the set 6 Mark 3, it had a brand new partially stacked sensor. So only the top and bottom of the sensor is stacked, backside illuminated in between. Without speed should be faster than normal backside illuminated sensor. I have shot thousands of photos. Well honestly, realistically, I can't check every one of them. But I really can't find any of them have any noticeable rolling shutter effects. Now I have to point out these are all photos. This is not a slow-mo video. These are all 10 megapixel JPEGs, 120 FPS in APS-C crop in Nikon's term DX format. So this crop in a little bit, but hey, 120 FPS, and this has also has pre-capture, one second pre-capture as well. Of course the. AF is really great, it's just how it's supposed to. And yeah, this one got uh, 3D tracking, finally. Of course, on top of all the subject recognition, the uh, human, animal, um, vehicle, and airplane, yeah. Now, basically, you don't have to have skills to use a camera. I just point, I just point, and I just keep my thumb on the air phone button and the camera just do everything for me. It's focus on faces, focus on eye, and with 3D tracking, what left is your vision. What's missing I mean, is your vision. It won't give you that. Now 120 FPS, you can get 120 photos in just one second. It might sound like it will take a lot of time to clone through them or do retouching, but with today's sponsor Evoto, you can save a lot of time on editing because you can smooth face skin just like that, remove face freckle, just one pull of a slider versus minutes of manual retouching. Brighten the eye, add catch light to eye, remove glass glare, all just a few slider done in second. And there's even AI color adjustment. This is not just some presets is AI color adjustment. Boom, just like that. And I'm talking about editing raw directly. Even support tether shooting, can simply de-wrinkle my clothes, and change my backdrop. But you see, you got all the manual adjustment as well. You can save your editing and apply to a whole batch of photo. Probably the best thing is that you can test it for free. It is fully function. You download it, it's full feature. It only charge you credit when you export your photo. But with the link in the description down below, you get how many? 30, 30 extra free export photo. Yeah, using the link down below. And it support my channel as well. So thank you very much. Okay, if you look at the camera body, I actually 
look really similar to <laughs> look really similar to set six set six mark two before but it is 50 around 50 gram heavier when i pick it up yeah i, I when i pick it up i can immediately feel that it's a little bit chunkier but it feels really good i think the grip the grip the the Lecon camera um the grip is really nice still got two function button here really functional really useful it got a it actually got a mechanical shutter this one we put the lens back on before people commenting on oh it's getting dust into it that eight set nine you got this style for changing the burst rate but this you got the mood out and you change the burst rate from here this button but this is really i like that something that i like is that when you are on like continuous high it is on mechanical shutter if you go to like 120 fps it just switch to electronic shutter you don't have to go into the menu to switch between electronic and and a mechanical shutter it got this two flip screen rather than uh, tilt up screen of course tilt up screen will be faster for taking photo this one you have to flip it out and then turn but of course this is better for a hybrid camera for both still and video talking about video you got the obviously you got the mic jack and headphone jack now something new is that it support um, line in audio as well you set it into in the menu system on this side you got sd card and cf express card so yeah dual card slot and of course you need cf express because of the progress i'm in i'm in the course i'm in the way sorry uh yeah you need cf express for all those progress and <coughs> and raw yeah the same battery as many other Lecon camera yen el 15c of course i remember in my head yeah. one thing i really wasn't expect is that the viewfinder well um Lecon viewfinder are always really good i don't know why the the, the color balance or something it just looks really real i mean even on a lot of other set a set nine even the set six mark two but this evf is technically much better as well because it has the p3 color space color color space yeah color space p3 that's exactly like your imac apple studio display i mean the evf will be more close to what you are actually good to get because on a lot of camera you look in the, to the EVF or the LCD it actually has much less color space much less dynamic range than your actual photo but this yeah this that's a different I'm like looking at um, it feels like I'm looking at a, a HDR display because especially they got 4000 nit brightness with video shooting, the Lecon got gone all out as well. It well, it doesn't have 8K, but how many people actually need to shoot 8K? It got 6K. It's so um, more than enough, to be honest. I've been shooting 6K and added it into 4K, so you can crop in, and it got everything that you would imagine, like N raw, ProRes raw. Internally, shooting into a CF Express card, you don't need an external recorder to get. Press raw. It's like, come on guys, can you give me a break? Now first, this is H265. You can do 5.4K up to 50 or 60 FPS, full frame, low crop at all. For 6K, you will have to shoot any of the raw formats. Now with my basic M2 Mac Mini, it's just M2 no max low ultra at all. Editing this ProRes RAW, it's really smooth, just like editing any other H264 or H265. You may heard about that shooting RAW video, you can set the ISO later because it should at base ISO anyway. 
and you can change white balance at will. All sounds really great. But there are actually a lot of extra work, like you have to decide do you edit it like a HDR video or you convert it into log and then edit it from there. And you don't have any of the in-camera noise reduction, sharpening, lens correction, you have to do them all by yourself. Raw video really isn't for most of us at all, for now. Especially shooting raw compared to shooting ProRes, you don't necessarily get better quality anyway. By the way, this Z6 Mark III now actually a little bit more expensive than the Z6 Mark II when it was new. Now actually around the price of Canon R6 Mark II. But it has improved so much, it's basically on another level. So that's it for this first lock of the brand new Nikon Z6 Mark III. What do you think?